This is going to be a great video if you are a conservationist, um, if you really like the environment, if you like trees. Um, Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Build It Vlog. Today, we're coming to you from outside of Augusta, Georgia. We're in South Carolina, and we are with Bellwether Forest Products, the very first company that paid me for photos many, many years ago. So we're out here in the woods in the middle of nowhere. This is a logging track, and all of this is typically southern pine, a little bit of hardwood. So this was previously logged, replanted, thinned out, and after 25 years of these trees growing, somebody came in here, <clears throat> identified what trees are what, and then Bellwether, once this is ready to be logged, comes in here, they have a feller buncher that'll cut the trees down that we'll go see, and then they have these skitters that will carry the trees from the feller buncher to the deck, which is where we are, and then you'll have the loader right behind me. Take the trees, sort the trees, cut the trees to length, and load them onto trucks. The trucks from here take them to the different mills. Now, all trees, all logs are not the same. So, the wood he's loading is pulp wood. All of that goes to the paper mill. It'll all be chipped and turned into paper, like toilet paper, an essential product. Behind me, the wood that will go to the lumber mill to be turned into boards. And then, as we walk out to go see the feller buncher, you'll notice a lot of trees standing. All of the trees standing are going to be power poles. So depending on what color is painted on the trees that you'll see, the feller buncher operator knows how to sort the piles. The skidders take the piles, put it up on the deck here, and then it's all cut to length and loaded to the mills by the loader. This is an absolutely essential product. Essential product. And most people don't understand how important logging really is. Everybody depends on logging every day of the week. And it looks like they're coming in here and just clear cutting. But all of this is grown to cut down. It's a renewable resource. All of these trees here were planted to be cut down. I love logging. reason why logging is so big in the south is because trees grow really fast here. It's about 25 years from when they plant the tree to when they can harvest it again, which is way faster than on the west coast, for example, that's sometimes 50 plus years. So you can cycle through these tracks a lot faster. All of these, all of this wood right here is going to the pulp mill, so it'll all be chipped and turned into paper which is your toilet paper, your cardboard boxes, whatever that is, paper products. Poop paper. Poop paper. Or your receipt from the quick trip this morning. Uh, did you know that's mostly made of plastic? Really? Yeah, receipts are mostly plastic. Okay, never mind then. It's an oil product. Oil product. <clears throat> yeah, see, so he'll pull them through like that, and then push it back through, and then cut it. Length is also really important. Different mills require different lengths. So it looks like he's just throwing logs onto a truck, but he's not. He's making sure that each log is the kind of wood that needs to go to the mill that that truck is going to. And then he needs to make sure that each log is the right length that the mill will take. If you take the wrong wood or the wrong length wood, to the mill, they will reject your load and it won't be worth anything. Yeah, that is hands down the hardest job on this whole crew is, yeah. is running the log loader. You're potentially costing the company a lot of money if you do it wrong. Look at all that meat.
you're potentially costing the company a lot of money if you do it wrong. We're going to find my drone. I'm currently hoping that a skitter doesn't run it over. So to cue everybody in on what's going on right now, we've been on site for 34 minutes into our entire week of shooting in the Carolinas. And Eric has already run the drone into a tree. I lost a prop, but that's okay, we have more. Successful recovery. Uh, I don't think there's any damage done, aside from my ego. Listen, folks, if you ain't crashing, you ain't doing it right. Logging, there's two parts to it. You have to cut the trees down and get them out of the woods, and then you have to get it to the mill. You have to get it from the track to the mill. All of this means nothing without the trucking operation. That's key, and you want to keep those trucks moving as fast as you possibly can. The more loads to the mill per day, the more money everybody's making. I'm going to try to go down to the feller buncher. Two wanderers venture into the woods. <laughs> I got a stick. Come out and cut it. Here, buncher, buncher, buncher. My hunch says go that way. I'm amazed he didn't go for your stick. I know. Like, that was a, maybe this one will help. Let's try. What if we like asked somebody for directions? Do you think that's a good idea? No. So some people like to follow their leaders blindly into the abyss, but I think I'm going to call it and turn around while he's not looking. It just sounds like nature. Today we are walking through the woods aimlessly for a half hour. Yeah, he's definitely down there. So I'm wondering if what we were hearing was two skitters in the same area at once. Pretty sure the feller buncher is in that direction. <laughs> and also, while we're here, please like and subscribe Did for more know? quality heavy equipment content. He's 231 meters away. He's just driving around in the woods in between the big trees and he's got his hot saw turned on and he's trimming all of this grub in the woods so that as he's knocking trees down, they're able to stack them better and they don't pick up all the little grub when they're going to take the stuff back to the landing with the skitters. I'm gonna keep walking this way. Well, the, I wouldn't do that because the problem is the cutting disc, it's only going 100 miles per hour. Oh wow, he's way. really coming towards us. Right behind me, you'll hear the beeping. Feller buncher Ugh. munches on its prey. Oh yeah, he is right there. Oh, here we go. We've been playing a game of where's that buncher at? Is y'all from Bill Witt? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How yeah. you doing? I'm Josh. Hey, Matthews. Aaron. Yeah, I've listened to your uh, podcast. Wow. Decorating for Halloween. Because that is that. That's what kind of Do you know what kind of spider that is? Uh, you know, <laughs> that thing eats squirrels. Good. Yeah, that's horrifying. Yeah. After a very short walk through the woods to exactly where we needed to be, we found this 843 John Deere feller buncher. This is the basically the tip of the spear in any logging operation. It's what cuts the trees down, piles them up, and prepares it for prepares the trees for grabbing from a skitter, hauling to the deck, and then cutting and loading into trucks from there. So this is the tip of the spear. So you have a thousand pounds spinning at about hundred miles per hour, and you have these teeth. When they impact the tree, it's just, it's, it's virtually instant. This goes right through the tree. And then the cool thing is take one of the arms, sweep it in, hold it on to the feller buncher with the other arm, open up the first arm, and then go into the next tree. Grab three to four, and then he'll lay them down into a pile and set the piles accordingly as he goes. And then the skitter can come through here, grab the piles, haul everything to the deck. We got a long walk back to the landing. Watch out, the spider! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! No! We're going home! We are going home! Oh my god! Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. That was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. We gotta go this way. I'm so scared to walk now. <laughs> my head feels like it's about to explode. Eric has poison oak and uh, got to know the spiders in the area very intimately. 
And now we're headed to the second track, which is not clear cut. We're on a clear cut right now. This one's a thinning. And we'll explain what the heck a thinning is when we get there. So this is the first thinning, as we explained, early teenage years, 13 to 15 years on these trees. So the, the trees we just saw were pretty young, about five. So this is when they get to a point where you want to do your first thinning, which is basically they go down the rows and create space around the trees to then grow bigger and stronger. So in contrast, to the clear cut we saw this morning. The clear cut is everything's mature, you come in, you cut everything. This, they're only cutting down rows, cutting select trees to create space so that the trees that they leave will grow to be bigger and stronger. So all of these trees I'm sitting on, you'll see, are a lot smaller than the ones we just saw. All of this is going to the mill as pulp wood. And then what they leave will grow to be much bigger. I don't really know if it's gonna stay. Up in here might be the safest bet. One of the staples of bellwether logging is their trucking. So a lot of logging companies, uh, they do trucking differently. Some of them like to sub it out to dedicated trucking companies. Others like to keep it in-house. Bellwether likes to keep it in-house because they control it better. Uh, they're also really good at having uh, a company image surrounding their fleet. So they're really known for these lime green trucks. They have a couple different colors floating around in the mix, but most of the ones you're gonna see are these lime green ones. This particular truck behind me is a Mack Pinnacle. Uh, I think they used to be the CH series trucks, but this is a day cab tandem axle truck. It's pulling a log trailer, which is a specific built trailer, a purpose built trailer made to haul logs. So Word on the Street is 87% of our viewers on YouTube are not subscribed to the channel, which makes me very sad. If you like Build It videos, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so what we have here is a skitter. So this is the front of the machine. We have the power unit right up front here, and this blade that they use to clean up around the deck, to clean up haul roads. You can move dirt with it, you can push trees with it, you can push stumps with it. Whatever you want to do with that blade, it's a very, very handy piece of equipment. This machine not only brings the trees out of the woods, but it's really the utility player of the operation. The business end of the skitter, the claw. The grapple. The claw. The grapple. The feller buncher will come in, pile up trees out there. You can hear the buncher cutting in the distance. Pile up trees. He'll open his grapple, drop it in there, grab onto the trees, and we'll pull the trees out of the woods up to the deck right here. You'll notice something else about logging equipment is it is super beefy looking. It's super heavy duty. These things are purpose built to just get beaten up all day. Let's go check out the cab quick. I'm looking at both sides. I can run the grapple with this joystick here, get my trees organized, grab onto them, and then I can see where I'm going up ahead as I drag the trees out of the woods. Can somebody check my pants? Because I think I just pooped myself. All right, we are all done here with Bellwether. We saw two sites, clear cutting and thinning. This is the thinning site. I'm joined by my co-host here, Mr. Future. 
Hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about southern logging. These operations are some of my most favoritest operations to see ah, anywhere. Ah. To see anywhere. And I really hope you learned a little bit. So with that, we'll see you on the next one. Stay dirty, everybody. This is so hard. Four more days. This is so hard.